have a diagnosis of any kind of rare disease. And that is on average. Could you imagine how long it could take? And could you imagine if you didn't have seven years on average to spend? So basically what we do is just helping people receive their diagnosis sooner and cheaper. We are completely involved in the development and research of the rare disease. We are trying to uh, make aware of people about the potential of new drugs and we are trying to help the clinician and the scientists in the drug development on the genome basis. With a big volume of data uh, about human DNA produced by sequencing and other genetic genetic research, um, scientists and doctors have more powerful tools to study the role that multiple genetic factors acting together and with the environment play in much more complex diseases. WGS is a new generation sequencing uh, technique. Basically, it's a, a comprehensive method of analyzing of the entire genome. Basically, it means that we are able to read every nucleotide which make up our genome. So we are able to uh, analyze completely the entire genome of uh, each organism. The analysis is useful because with new generation sequencing methods, we are able to read the entire genome sequence. So basically, we are able to find the smallest mutation in our genome, which potentially could give us some disease or a disease. It is in ignorance and fear of the unknown that cause social stigma. Individuals, families, and even organizations can be affected by the stigma. And this is why it's crucial for, all, for us all to work together, develop understandings, discover diagnoses, solutions, and provide support for the many people affected. This is why we work to offer doctors and clinicians specific genomic information to match with the medical ones, to help them develop treatments completely based on each single person and to empower precision medicine with genomic knowledge. We help people unlock their full potential. Basically, we help them do their best with the genes they have. can help the people to arrive at a diagnosis. Um, in this way, we can contribute to a better management of the disease. My work consists in generating reports for rare diseases and for other medical conditions, and searching for new genetic variants, which are a permanent change in the DNA sequence. We generated our rare disease report by crossing the genetic data from sequencing with the patient's medical history. In addition, we use uh, informatic tools and a scientific database to create the final records. In particular, we receive human samples and we extract genomic information that is stored in the DNA. Of course, the, the purpose of this analysis is to provide services and related advices for the patient conditions. On the later stages, this information can be used for the further researchers in order to provide further services for the patients. The combination of big data and machine learning can help us as bioinformaticians to process the data which is gathered from uh, rare disease patients and help us to build a pipeline and a tool to process the data in a faster and more dynamic way with an incredible accuracy. Machine learning is the application of artificial intelligence which provides systems the ability to learn automatically and discover patterns among the data. For example, in genomic data, uh, the application of machine learning is to discover genes, variants, and primers for rare diseases. Currently, over a hundred rare diseases can be diagnosed throughout biological tests. The knowledge of the natural history of this disease is in continuous progress, made possible by the creation of an observatory dedicated to death diseases. Researchers are growing their network to share their research findings and progress more effectively. 
All these efforts thanks to the new technology that offers greater sensitivity and allows us to work with smaller symbols, avoiding pain and basic, and obtaining better results. We strongly believe that it is important to inform people about the rare diseases and to help create a support network around those affected and their families. When I decided to become a bioinformatician, I had one big motivation, and that was to help people with their disease. Now, nowadays, I would like to raise awareness around the rare diseases for the people in the globe to spend and to provide more support, energy, and money resources for the researchers to help them to provide a better solutions and cures for the rare, patient, rare disease patients. Because only together, we have the opportunity to make a difference. I am Alexandra. I am a genomic and molecular biotechnologist and I'm working as a research on our ongoing epilepsy project at Dante Labs. I act as a primary point of contact with patients' advocacy and health care organizations. We know that strong communities are essential to rare disease patients seeking better care and outcomes. So we contact them directly to understand the unmet patient needs that we can help fulfill. I also analyze the role of genes to search for bio biomarkers to help and understand and hopefully treat this rare disease, epilepsy which afflict many people around the world. With this type of analysis, we try to give a deeper genetic understanding of the syndrome. This consciousness can be very important, not only to consider personalized medical needs, but also to give families guarded support on how to cope with the disease and reduce the sense of isolation. We believe it is essential to expand the knowledge of rare disease to give maximum support to patients. Thanks to our advanced sequencing technology, we are able to do this. It is essential to disclose rare disease to lessen the stigma that is very often associated with them. In our epilepsy project, we use data processing and machine learning to look for new candidate genes that are involved in this kind of syndrome. In particular, we are focusing on patients affected by Dreyfus syndrome, one of the more severe epilepsy in childhood. Searching and studying variants of clinical relevance in our patients, we want to find targets for new personalized therapies and optimize the current therapies in use through the power of pharmacogenetics. Our goal is for people with rare disease to feel included in the community and special for the uniqueness they have. We must always remember that it's our differences that make us strong and empower us.